today we study equation of a sphere now if we look at definition of sphere sphere is locus of all the points which are at a fixed distance from a given point now this fixed point is center and this fixed distance is radius of this sphere now suppose we have a sphere whose center is given by say x1 y1 z1 and whose radius is r then equation of the sphere will be x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square plus z minus z1 whole square and it will be equal to r square so if we have center and radius of any sphere we can write its equation as x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square plus z minus z1 whole square equals r square now we expand this equation then we can write this equation as x square plus y square minus 2 x1 x minus 2 y1 y minus 2 z1 z plus x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square minus r square equals 0 so from here we can write general equation of sphere and general equation of sphere is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 ux plus 2 vy plus 2 wz and plus c equals 0 so if we are given equation of sphere in this form then if we compare we can write its center as minus u minus v and minus w so we have to take coefficients of x y and z we have to divide them by 2 and change the sign and its radius will be given by under root of u square plus v square plus w square minus c now say for example it says find the equation of a sphere whose center is at minus 1 1 0 and whose radius is 2 units so once we have center and radius we can write its equation as x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square plus z minus 0 whole square equals 2 square and if we are given an equation say x square plus y square plus z square minus 4x plus 6y plus 2z plus 1 equals to 0 now in this case if we have to find its center now coefficient of x is minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 change the sign so it will be 2 in the same way minus 3 and here will be minus 1 so center of this sphere will be at 2 minus 3 and minus 1 and its radius will be under root of now 4 3 square is 9 plus 1 and then minus c and c in this case is 1 so 1 and 1 will cancel so its radius will be root 13 now next we have questions on a sphere and a plane so if we are given a sphere and we are given a plane then we have three possibilities either sphere and plane they do not intersect or this plane will touch the sphere or this sphere and plane will intersect to form a circle so we have three possibilities so in this case we will be given equation of this plane which is say ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero and we will be given equation of sphere which is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus c equals 0 and we have to find and we have to find whether this plane it intersects it touches or it doesn't meet the sphere so what we'll do is we'll find center of the sphere center of the sphere will be at minus u minus v and minus w and we'll find radius of the sphere which is say r now from the center from this point we'll find perpendicular distance of this plane so if this perpendicular distance d it is greater than r then in that case the sphere and plane they will not intersect if this perpendicular distance it is equal to r then in that case this tangent will touch the sphere at one point and if d is less than r then this plane and sphere they will intersect to form a circle now let us take an example say for example we are given a sphere 
whose center is at 1, 1, 2 and it touches this plane whose equation is x plus y plus z minus 1 equals 0. Now in order to write equation of the sphere, we need to find center and radius. Now center it is already given. Now we need to find its radius. Now it is given that the sphere it touches this plane. Now if the sphere touches this plane, then radius of the sphere it must be equal to perpendicular distance of its center from this plane. So this r will be equal to this perpendicular distance d and we can find this perpendicular distance d as 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square. So it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this value will be simply root 3. So now we have center and we have radius. So we can write equation of the sphere as x minus 1 square plus y minus 1 square plus z minus 2 square and it will be equal to under root 3 square and this is the equation of sphere. Now when we have this third case, when this sphere it intersects this plane to form a circle So we have this circle which is formed by intersection of this plane which is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0 and this sphere which is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2ey plus 2wz and plus c dash equals 0. Then they'll ask you to find center and radius of this circle. So we have to find center of this circle and we have to find radius of this circle. Now we are given center of the sphere. Center of the sphere is at minus u minus p minus w and we also have radius of the sphere which is capital R. So from this equation we can find center which is minus u minus v minus w and we can also find radius of sphere and which is u square plus v square plus w square minus c dash. Now basically center of the circle is put off perpendicular of the center of sphere on plane. So in order to find center of circle all you need to do is we need to find foot of perpendicular from minus u minus v and minus w on this plane which is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0 and we have to find its radius what we will do is we will find this perpendicular distance d then radius of this circle will be given by r square minus d square. So this is actually how we write equation of a circle in 3D. So if we are given equation of a circle in 3D, it will be expressed as s equals 0 equals p equals 0. So we will be given a sphere and we will be given a plane which will intersect this sphere and from their intersection a circle is formed and equation of the circle is given by s equals 0 and p equals 0. Now say for example it says find the center and radius of circle which is given by x square plus y square plus z square equals 9 and x plus y plus z equals 3. So basically we are given this pair whose center is at origin and whose radius is 3 units and we are given this plane whose equation is x plus y plus z equals 3 and this plane and sphere will intersect to form this circle. Now we need to find center of this circle. So for center of this circle what we need to do is we need to find foot of perpendicular from the center of the sphere which is 0 0 0 to this plane x plus y plus z equals 3. Now we already have shortcut for this foot of perpendicular. It is given by x minus 0 upon 1 
y minus 0 upon 1, z minus 0 upon 1, and then minus will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus 3 upon 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this is 1. So we'll get x as 1, y as 1, and z as 1. So center of this circle will be at 1, 1, and 1. Now we need to find its radius. Now we'll find perpendicular distance of the center from this plane. So this perpendicular distance will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus 3 upon under root of 1 plus 1 plus 1. So value of this perpendicular distance, it is root 3. Now once we have r and d, we can find this small r as under root of r square minus d square. Now this is 9 and 9 minus 3 is under root 6. So center of the circle is 1 comma 1 comma 1 and its radius is simply root 6. Now the question is find the shortest distance between two straight lines. Now for this straight line, point is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2, 6 by 7. And for this line also, point is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 2 and 6 by 7. So basically these two lines, they intersect and if they intersect, their shortest distance is 0. So that means this A, it matches with Q. Now this next one is, if two lines intersect at a point, find the value of k. Now point on this line is 1, minus 1, 1 and here it is 3, k and 0. So if they intersect then this determinant 3 minus 1, 2, k plus 1, minus 1 and direction ratios are 2, 3 and 4 and this is 1, 2 and 1. It must be 0. Now we solve this. We can write 2 and this is 3 minus 8 minus 5 minus k plus 1. This is 2 minus 4 plus 2 and then minus 1 into 1 equals 0. So we'll get 2k minus 9 equals 0. Value of k is simply 9 by 2. So this B, it matches with P. So B, it matches with P. Now this next one is, this sphere, it intersects this plane in a circle. Then we need to find radius of this circle. Now, radius of this sphere is 5 units. So this is 5. We need to find the radius of this circle. And for that, what we'll do is, we'll find perpendicular distance of this plane from center of the sphere which is at origin so this distance will be 0 plus 0 plus 5 upon 5 so this distance it is 1 so this distance is 1 then using Pythagoras theorem we can write r square is 25 minus 1 which is 24 so value of r is 2 root 6 that means this c it matches with s and finally, this D is this line, it meets the plane at P. So we'll take this parametric coordinate, lambda, lambda and lambda. Now we put X, Y and Z as lambda. We'll get this P as 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and 1 by 3. And it meets this sphere at points R and S. So here we'll get 3 lambda square equals 1 or value of lambda is plus or minus 1 by root 3. So let this R be 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 and this S will be minus 1 by root 3, minus 1 by root 3 and minus 1 by root 3. Now if we find PR, PR will be 1 by root 3, minus 1 by 3 whole square three times. So if we take it common, we'll get this as this root three. And then if we take PS, PS will be one by root three plus one by three into root three. Now if we add them, we can write PR plus PS will be simply two. That means this D, it matches with R. So this D, it matches with R. And that is the answer to this question.
most of the fundamentals in sphere they're same as that in circle so i would be discussing sphere in detail because if you know circle then you can work out condition for spheres if i take an example suppose you have two spheres and they touch each other externally then what will be the condition and in the case of circle we know that distance between centers it must be equal to sum of their radius here also we'll have this condition that c1 c2 will be equal to r1 plus r2 and now this point of contact will divide c1 c2 in the ratio r1 is to r2 internally so once we have c1 c2 and we have these radius we can find point of contact or if you recall the condition that two circles they intersect orthogonally the two circles intersect orthogonally if we have 2 g1 g2 plus f1 f2 and e be equal to c1 plus c2 now in case of a sphere we'll have the same condition so it'll be 2 and then u1 u2 plus v1 v2 plus w1 w2 and e be equal to c1 plus c2 so almost all the concepts in circle they can be directly applied to sphere in circle we have this condition that equation of family of circles passing through point of intersection of the circle s equal 0 and this line l equal 0 so we know that equation of family of circles it is given by s plus lambda l equal 0 and the same way if we have this sphere which is s equal 0 and we have this plane which is p equal 0 then equation of family of sphere which passes through this circle of intersection will be given by s plus lambda p equals 0 so all the questions in circles they can be translated directly into sphere problems i'll just take up one question say for example we had to find equation of a sphere passing through this circle which is intersection of this sphere and plane and which curves this sphere orthogonally now first we'll find equation of family of sphere and will be given by x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 and then plus lambda x plus y plus z minus 1 equals 0 so we can write this equation as x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda x plus lambda y plus lambda z and then minus 9 minus lambda equals 0 Now in this case, u1 is lambda by 2, v1 is lambda by 2, and w1 is lambda by 2, and c1 is minus 9 minus lambda. Now for the second equation, if we write u2, u2 is 1, v2 is minus 2, and w2 is minus 8, and c2 is 17. Now it is given that. These two spheres they cut orthogonally. That means two u one u two, so it'll be two into lambda by two plus v one v two. It'll be minus lambda and then plus w one w two, and that'll be minus four lambda. It'll be equal to c one plus c two. So it'll be minus nine plus seventeen, and that'll be eight minus lambda. Now this is lambda minus ten lambda, so that'll be minus minus nine lambda. And minus nine lambda plus lambda will be minus eight lambda equals eight. So value of lambda is simply minus one. Now if we put value of lambda here, we'll get equation of sphere as x square plus y square plus z square minus x minus y minus z and minus eight equals zero. So this is the equation of sphere which passes through circle of intersection of the sphere and plane. and which cuts this other sphere orthogonally so if you know circles in 2d well then sphere is a piece of cake we'll discuss little bit of sphere in cone and cylinders also